We want to be able to put them out there and make them more effective in the battle space. Give them more mobility and give them the ability to stay out there without being resupplied constantly. One of the reasons why E2C this year is focused on things like internally transportable vehicles. It doesn't require me to resupply fuel every 12 hours, every 24 hours, every 36 hours, because that company can still move 100 miles without any resupply. I am sitting in Mill Spray's XV1. It's our experimental vehicle one. This is a hybrid electric utility vehicle. Uh, we've really combined the aspects of stealth, mobility, and protection into an ultralight military vehicle designed for the special operations community. Uh, we have the stealth aspect, it's an electric drivetrain, uh, reduces noise and heat signatures. We have the off-road capabilities, it's a highly mobile ultralight vehicle. And we have protection where we've incorporated mill sprays ballistic resistant paneling to uh, provide protection for the occupants. They're definitely more mobile and they can go places that bigger vehicles like Humvees could not go. Um, they can't carry as much, but they're definitely personally more effective than most of the equipment that we have. All-terrain vehicles are versatile. Uh, they can do more than Humvees, they can do more than 7 tons LVSR, anything that can, that can be used as far as rolling stock. They can, they can do it. Uh, my shop personally uses all-terrain vehicles when we go on field ops or on convoys or something like that. They have multiple uses. You can use it to haul around all the gear you need, uh, cuts down on manpower, and it can go further and faster than most of our tactical vehicles that we have.